that by 2030, they would own 60%. I definitely want to tag my realtor in here to see what he says about this. I bought my home, my second home. Um, for those of you who don't know, I lost my first home. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm ashamed that I didn't do what I need to do to keep it. But God graced me where I was able to buy a second home in 2021. And you just kept the... All, I'm, I was told that the supply was low, but the demand was high. So I went through 18 offers. I remember watching a news story on NBC. And I want to say a young lady went through almost 25. And they did let people know about the number of homes that are being bought by private businesses and they're leasing them out. Um, there's actually a neighborhood they spotlighted here. This is NBC and National News. They spotlighted a neighborhood here in Blythewood where the lady admitted she's not ready for home ownership. So she wanted to live in this neighborhood where they're renting homes. The whole neighborhood was all homes, but they were rented. Um, I also noticed some neighborhoods, like there was a neighborhood down the street from me. I was like, and honestly, I don't, I don't know where these people are coming from. I really don't. But when you look at some of these neighborhoods, like one neighborhood started off selling, and now it's all rental. Another neighborhood I noticed on the side of town, most of the properties in that neighborhood I think are rentals. They're not. So it's like, what are you as a government agency doing to make sure that people have access to affordable housing? And this is why when people say we should not vote, this is a good point on why we should vote and why we can't just vote. And it doesn't have to be necessarily you. But one thing I am, I keep on saying I'm going to do this. I need to figure out between now and I guess in the next month or two, how do we get in the rooms to find out these policies and find out how we can talk to our representatives, whoever who represents us, get in their faces and find out what exactly are you doing? And if they're not doing things that are we don't like, we need to let them know that. And so again, do I believe we should vote? Yeah, but then you also need a group of people who are willing to advocate and step up and say, what you're doing isn't right.